Well, uh, uh, I hope all of you are fine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this session, we'll be starting about the third unit of uh, second year biology. The unit name is Biology in uh, Human Welfare. In that, you can, there are three chapters. That is, one is Human Health and Diseases. Eighth chapter, that is. Then the ninth chapter, Strategies for Enhancement in Food Production. And then tenth chapter, Microbes in Human Welfare. The reason why this unit is named as named as biology and human welfare because because in these three chapters you are about to study about microorganisms and the welfare of the, the these three chapters will help you out to understand and how to use these microorganisms this livestock for the betterment of the human application. So we'll start with today's topic that is eighth chapter. Human health and disease. As the name suggests, that in this talk, in this chapter, we have to discuss about the health factors and as well as the various diseases that occur in human beings. First of all, you know there are the two. These are the two opposite words actually. One is health, other is disease. Neither of them can occur at a time in human beings. Clear? So first of all, as the name suggests, health. What do you mean by health? Health can be understood by many means, can be defined also by many means, can be defined in many ways also, can be understood also normally easily. But WHO, that is World Health Organization, has defined health in a very clear manner, that is the state of the state of physical mental and the social well-beingness the state of or the condition where physical mental and social well-beingness fitness is what is defined as health again it says the state of physical mental social well-beingness and not merely the absence of disease it means to say that not only the absence of disease can be considered as health the person should be physically fit, the person should be mentally fit and also he should, he should be socially, socially very active, alert and, and normal behavior with the society is what is known as this condition, overall condition, right? this collective definition of health. So the overall condition of a person where the body is involved, physical, nervous system, mental is involved and his social behavior is involved, such a condition is what is defined as health. Now, when we say these three aspects, Right? physical, mental and social well-being. That's what exactly means to say that physically it includes about the body. It includes about the body, right? the morphology, body and as well as the physiology. Right? So the person should be physically fit. Physically he should be strong. Physically he should be fit. Right? That's, why we, that's what we call it as physical fitness. Physical fitness right? And it is obtained by two things. One is balanced diet and then by regular exercise. These are the two very important factors that makes a person to be physically healthy, physically fit. So when physical fitness is there, body is normal, all organs, all the parts are normal in structure as well as in function. That defines the physical fitness. Along with this, along with this, his mental ability, mental ability, IQ, EQ, that is intellectual quotient, emotional quotient, right? his mental behavior right? with the with the, with the people, his mental status, condition, how he reacts, how is his environment, what is his positive thinking, his curiosity, all this concerning with the nervous system, mental health is what is known as the mental health. So where your nervous system is involved. So now, let's connect between these two. One is physical health, other is mental health. Physical health is concerned about the body. Mental health is concerned about the nervous system. So here, there should be a proper coordination, correlation between these two, right? Nervous system, endocrine system, exocrine system and the all other systems of the body there should be a proper correlation coordination between these two then only a person is physically fit and mentally also he is fit then when, when these two things are satisfied fulfilled, they are fine physically also fit, mentally also fine alert, active, energetic the person then his social behavior will also be very cordial very friendly, very positive in the society in the locality, in the, among the people 
in the family members. So his social behavior is also very important. If a person slightly behaves a little abnormal, what do you call loose, crack, okay? mad, crazy, why slight, slight abnormal behavior. So his behavior should be normal. His activities should be normal. Right? His interactions should be normal. His reactions, his actions should be normal. His thoughts should be normal, should be positive. Then only he is socially, socially also healthy. How he is mingling with the people in the society, how he has an interaction with the family members, with his friends in his locality is what is concerned about the social health. When these three are fine, physically fit, mentally also fine, normal, and his social behavior is also fine, right? then such a person is known as a healthy person, healthy person. So what are the factors that affects health? Means to say that one is physical factors, what is required is balanced diet, exercise, right? Then mental, he should not have, in, as far as mental health is concerned, he should not have anxiety, he should not have anxiety, he should not have any tension, tension, right? And he should, he should have a proper sleep to get a mental health, peaceful mind, right? Alert, active, energetic mind, positive mind. He should have to have peaceful six to eight hours of, eight hours of peaceful sleep. So this is what will make the person mentally fit, mentally fit. When all these things are correct, he's socially good, socially good, right? So the factors which affects health are, one is balanced diet, exercise, right? physical exercise, then proper peaceful sleep, having a good source of uh, income, having a fa healthy family, helping friends, environment, clean environment, healthy and hygienic environment, right? All these are the factors which are responsible to maintain health. Nowadays, health cautious is so much, everybody is worried about their physical fitness, Lots of, lots of exercise centers are being opened up because health is everything. When a person is healthy, he can perform everything. He can do everything. He can work efficiently. First of all, he can work efficiently. He can output perfectly, right? To the maximum extent. So, the characteristics of a healthy person. He is active. He is energetic. He is, uh, he is positive. He is happy and spreads happiness. As soon as you see a person, you can easily come to know that he is a healthy person or he is a ill person. So this is about the health. As far as health is concerned, very important. Right from the beginning of the beginning of the life, care is care is taken regarding health to maintain health. Right? Very important factor of human life. Apart from that, the next word what we are supposed to discuss over here is disease. This disease, right? So health definition I have given you. WHO definition. The same definition you are supposed to write. If it is asked for one more question, define health. The state of the the state wherein physical, mental and social well-beingness, not merely the absence of disease, is what is known as health. Or if you write the state of physical, mental and social well-beingness of a person is what is known as health, it's fine. So we will ask for one more. Now the next, next word to be discussed over here is disease. So what exactly is disease? This word is made up of two words. One is known as this, the other is known as ease. So this means, this means against. This means against disorder, disappointment, against that, against that. Okay. So this means against and ease means, ease means comfort, ease means comfort. What do you mean by ease? Comfort. You might have heard a word, he or she does that work with an ease. From the word ease, easily is derived, easily is derived. So a person, right, ease means to say that he is in his comfort zone. Now what this word says, this is against his comfort zone. He is not comfortable. He is not happy. He is not fine. He is not normal. So such a condition of the body where his physical, mental and social well-being is less, there is no proper correlation, coordination between these two. Fine. He has a problem. He is not feeling comfortable. He is not happy. He is not normal. He is not normal. Such a condition of the body is what is defined as disease. Disease. Clear? When we talk about disease, we should talk about the other things also. You should know what is an infection, what is a disease, what is a disorder, what is a syndrome. We we'll talk about that. Then we go to the further point, further further points on the diseases. Clear? Yeah? So here the words are one is known as infection. The other is known as disorder. Then followed by disease. Then followed by syndrome. Why we need to discuss these points? Because uh, Introductory class, the basic terminology is required. 
you need to understand because all these are there in your syllabus. Right? So you should know what exactly is infection, what is disorder, what is disease, and how they are different from each other. What is the condition? So here, infection, right? infection always occurs occurs of an organ. Here, organ is involved. What is involved? Organ is involved. Due to the infection of that organ, there will be inflammation. There will be inflammation. Right? Inflammation. Where organ is involved. What is involved in an infection? On organ is involved. Inflammation. You might have heard certain certain infections like the infection that ends with ITIS. ITIS. Right? Inflammation. The meaning of ITIS. It is is inflammation. It's not it is. It is ITIS. For example, like conjunctivitis. Inflammation of the conjunctiva. Bronchitis. Inflammation of the bronchi. Cardiitis. Hepatitis. Right? Meningitis. So there are all these different different inf infections that occur in an organ, and due to which there will be an inflammation. Such a condition ends with ITIS. Conjunctivitis. Bronchitis. Hepatitis. Right? Hepatic. Liver, so all those things. I hope it's clear now. So we'll shut away. So this that's the infection. Now when we go on to the disorder, also here again same word you have come across. What we have seen in case of diseases, this again here also same. So the meaning itself says disorder. The it is not in order. It is not in order. Not in series. Not in order. Right. So here what is involved here? Organ system is involved. What is involved? Organ system is involved. So in the infection. Organ is involved in the disorder. Organ system is involved. Complete system. Disorders of respiratory system. We have studied in our first year in human physiology. Our seven chapters. Disorders of digestive system. Disorders of respiratory. Disorders of circulatory system. So here, disorder is always concerned with an organ system where many organs are involved, and one system, one system is one system is in not in proper function, not performing its normal function. In such a condition of the body. Is what is defined as disorder, disorder of the body. Thus, we have we have learned disorders of various various systems and in our body. Now, disease, disease. As I told you earlier, the meaning of the disease where disease the condition where the whole body is involved, complete human body is involved in a disease. Right. So, such a condition is what is known as disease. Now, let us say, let us consider, for example, fever. fever. Now, in when we talk. About immunity, immunology, in the same chapter, in the next coming coming topics, there we say that fever is not a disease. Basically, it's a immunological reaction that takes place in our body, and due to that reaction, that there will be a slight increase in the temperature. Such a condition is what we call as fever. But now, for the understanding purpose, still this last this level before we go to immunity, let us consider fever as disease. When a person has fever, his whole body is involved. Headache. Stomach pain, digestion is not working properly, nervous system is not normal, not functioning properly, activities are not there. He cannot digest food, he cannot run, he cannot walk properly, normally, he cannot run, he cannot perform the normal diurnal activities. So such a condition where the whole body is involved and person is not at all comfortable against comfort zone, not at all comfortable. Such a condition of the body is what is defined as disease. Disease. I hope it's clear. Next. When you talk about the syndrome, syndrome, S Y N C, C means fusing, fusing, coming to a common point, converging, synchronization. You may have heard the word. So syndrome, the condition where you come across many diseases, many diseases at the same time, or we can say many symptoms, many symptoms, many symptoms, multiple symptoms, many symptoms are there. Or more than two or three diseases are there in a person at the same time. They are coexisting together in the same in the same person. Many diseases are there. Such a condition of the body is what is known as syndrome. Syndrome. Either many diseases can be there at a time or many symptoms. Now, what are symptoms? Symptoms. They are the signs. Signs. Based on these signs, we can decide whether what type of disease it is. Either it's an infection or a disorder or a disease. So, based on those signs, those problems, those abnormalities. Right, which defines a particular disease or what are known as symptoms. So, in a person, if many symptoms occur at the same time, or if many diseases occur at the same time, at the same time, right, such a condition of the body is what is known as syndrome. Syndrome. You people might be knowing about AIDS. In this chapter also, we have discussed separately about AIDS. You all very well know that acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Or one more example, I can give SARS. 
severe acute respiratory syndrome so many